Amy Lynn Smith. Hi, I'm Amy, and I'm an Obamacare success story. That's not a confession. It's a cause for celebration, and I am one of millions of Americans whose stories can help Democrats win in November, because Obamacare is a winning issue for Democrats. It's been proven time and time again that the attacks of Obamacare's opponents don't hold up under scrutiny. They can't even poke holes in Obamacare success stories, because the success stories have the advantage of being true. Democrats just need to tell those stories. But a lot of Democrats aren't using Obamacare success stories to their full advantage. The fact that more than 20 million Americans and counting are benefiting from Obamacare is awesome. It's what we have been fighting for. But that fact alone doesn't change minds. What changes minds? Personal stories of how Americans benefit from Obamacare. Stories that demonstrate a value statement. What's in it for the voter? What's in it for the American health care consumer? What is the value Obamacare delivers? When a cancer patient says, if it wasn't for Obamacare, I'd be dead in 12 months, the value is obvious. Obamacare is saving her life. Use stories to show what people get when they get covered. Getting insured despite a pre-existing condition. Getting routine screening is free. Getting coverage that costs less. Getting to keep your doctors. Getting the peace of mind that even if you are diagnosed with the most aggressive cancer imaginable, the coverage you pay for every month can never be taken away and will never hit a lifetime limit. Let me demonstrate with my own story. I'm a freelance writer, so I've always had to buy my own insurance, and the cost kept going up. Last year, I was paying $1,400 a month. Why didn't I shop around? Because I couldn't. I have diabetes, so only one insurance company would cover me. I'm also a woman, so I could be charged more just because of that. Obamacare gives me the right to buy the same plan as everybody else. I no longer am discriminated against for being a self-employed woman with diabetes, so I got the same coverage I had before for $900 less a month. I did not get a tax subsidy, so my $530 monthly premium might sound expensive, but I would pay more than that just for the insulin I need to stay alive if I had to buy that without insurance. I kept all my doctors, and I will never pay more than $5,000 a year in out-of-pocket costs, something my previous plan did not guarantee. I told my story at Eclecta Blog, and then I started helping other people tell theirs, like Leonard and Dawn. He lost his job, and she has a part-time job, so they couldn't afford $1,300 a month for coverage, but they couldn't afford to do without. Between them, they take 19 medications for 14 different pre-existing conditions, including heart disease. They qualified for tax credits, so they got covered for $227 a month. Dawn told me in tears that without insurance to pay for their medication, she wasn't sure how long they'd last. She wasn't sure they'd make it to her daughter's wedding this summer, but they did. Then there's Linda, whose husband Charles's cancer treatment will be covered thanks to Obamacare. Cancer treatment that was never interrupted when they changed to a plan that saves them $300 a month. Coverage that let Charles keep all his doctors. This is what Linda told me, quote, I see these ads with people saying they can't keep their doctors, and I know that's bullcrap. Those ads are all about politics, not insurance. End quote. All her words. The truth needs no embellishment. Pharmacy technician Desiree will tell you the same. It's not a political thing, she said. It's a people thing. This college student knows all about people because she helps them in a pharmacy every day, and she has not seen a single person's prescription costs increase with their new Obamacare-compliant plans. In fact, she's seen a lot of costs go down, and she helped one woman who hasn't had insurance her entire adult life. The woman gratefully filled a prescription to manage a condition that was diagnosed at her first checkup in years, a condition that was caught before it turned serious. Other young people get it too, like Eddie, who at age 31 already has a black mark on his credit record because he was forced to use the ER for routine care when he didn't have insurance. While he pays off his $5,000 debt, he got covered for $20 a month. Karen knows the high cost of getting injured. She avoided going bankrupt over a broken wrist because she has insurance she could only afford because of Obamacare. And let's not forget Marion, the cancer patient who would have been dead in 12 months if it wasn't for Obamacare. Her doctors gave her one year to live if she didn't get treatment. But even with a part-time job, she couldn't afford insurance until Obamacare. Her treatment has started, and now her doctors give her an optimistic outlook for recovery. So, 
as we head into the 2014 elections and beyond, tell stories like these. They can change people's minds. Give voters a reason to choose a Democrat who supports Obamacare because people want to vote for the things that matter most to them. And one day, the life that's saved by Obamacare may be their own.